Road Rash 3 is probably one of my favorite Genesis games. Driving around, smacking people with clubs or pipes, avoiding traffic, and winning races is always a thrilling experience. But perhaps maybe you wanted something just a little different. Maybe rollerblading on highways, complete with rush hour traffic? If that's what you're looking for, then Skitchin may be for you. The goal of the game is simple. Win 12 races in 12 cities. That's it. In order to consider the race won, you simply need to finish the race in the top three. Anything less than that, and you'll just have to redo the competition. It's kind of like Road Rash, in which if you fail a race, you just try again, unless you go bankrupt, because then it's game over. But then again, if the only thing that was different was the fact that you were rollerblading instead of riding crotch rockets, well, this would be a short review. But, nah, there's plenty of differences here that make it a different enough game. First off, being that you are rollerblading instead of driving, you have to do something different to pick up maximum speed. Skitching. It's the act of slingshotting off the back of a moving vehicle in order to gain extra momentum. At least, as far as I know that's what it is. In order to do this, you simply press left or right on the directional pad and hold A to hold out your arm. If a vehicle passes you while doing this, you'll grab onto it and hang onto the back. In order to slingshot forward, you move to the edge of the vehicle and press A again. If you press A anywhere else, you'll simply let go, which isn't always a bad idea, especially if you're going around a turn or have way too many people skitching the same vehicle. In later races, you need to be wary of skitching. Some vehicles will slow down when they detect you catching a ride, although you might be able to overcome this by crouching below the rear windshield. You can also be insane and skitch off the back of law enforcement, but if they catch you doing this, they'll pull over and you won't be able to let go. So although it's a good way to get some quick cash, it's very risky as if they start to pull over, the race is over. But either way, most of the time, skitching is a good way to gain some extra speed to get in those higher positions. Just as it did in Road Rash, combat still plays a huge role in skitching. There's a lot of weapons that you can pick up off of the road, which is different than how it worked in Road Rash. In Road Rash, you simply stole the weapons from your opponents as they swung at you. Here, you need to crouch down and hold A in order to grab the item from the pavement. A lot of times, cones set on the outsides of the road will give you a hint that a weapon is coming up, but a lot of times, there's so much else that you're worrying about that a single cone on the edge of the road is going to go right on by without being noticed. Again, like Road Rash, you can carry three different weapons, cycled through by holding start and pressing left or right. You will notice a big difference here. You can lose weapons fairly easily. Enemies can grab them from you, but more often than not, anytime you get hit by traffic, you have a chance of losing your currently held weapon. It sucks when it happens, as your standard punches don't do a lot of damage. You'll also still see ramps and other stuff that you can grab some air with, and here's another thing that's unique with Skitchin over Road Rash. You can do tricks. There's not a lot of them, but by pressing different buttons or directions, you will do a stunt. If you can land it, you're rated by three judges, and you'll get a bit of cash at the end of the race. If you can't stick the landing, you'll face plant and roll around for a bit, losing valuable time. Doing stunts is definitely risky until you start memorizing the tracks to know which ramps are worth hitting and which are better off avoided due to hazards in the way. Speaking of hazards, the biggest hazard in each race isn't your opposing racers, time limit, or even the random crap in the road. It's the traffic. These drivers are driving to their destinations and they definitely are not stopping for any measly rollerblader. Hit and run? Vehicular manslaughter? Vehicular assault? Not stopping at the scene of an accident? These drivers don't care. They will hit you and keep going. It's even common to be struck multiple times. You might go over someone's windshield and as you are falling to the asphalt get struck by a second driver. Hell, even cops don't bother slowing down. It is definitely frustrating as this is what will cause you to lose a race the most often, but it's also fun to watch a van plow into the opposing racer in front of you. The sound effect that this makes is also satisfying to hear. Completing races will get you a bit of cash that can be spent in the between race shop. You can buy gear in various categories, with most of it being simple protection to avoid a trip to the hospital. Your gear is color coded to show the status of it, giving you an idea of what you should purchase or upgrade, and what can possibly be left alone. However, you'll always want to keep your blades in good condition. If you ever get broken roller blades during a race, you'll get a blowout, causing an instant loss on that track. This is also bad because each race does demand an entry fee. 
So how do you get money? There's a couple of ways. Sketching on vehicles will get you $1 per vehicle. Doing tricks will get you varied amounts, depending on the complexity of the trick. Sketching police vehicles will get you $1 per second. Knocking out other racers gets you 5 bucks each. And obviously, the higher you place in a race, the more money you'll get just from that alone. In addition, you can be on the lookout for ways to earn runs on the bonus tracks. In each track intro, a host of sorts will introduce the track and the racer who considers the city his or her hometown. This racer will give you a small blurb, oftentimes hitting on what you need to do in order to earn the run on the bonus track after the race is over. For example, in the first race, you want to finish it as quickly as possible. In the second, successfully land as many tricks. You'll then be offered a bonus track when you go to start the next race, in which this hometown racer will explain what you need to do to earn bonus cash. You need to be careful. If you do horribly, you may not earn any cash and still need to repair any damaged gear from that track. It's usually worth a go though, as you can earn $50 or more, which is substantial in this game. You're going to want to stockpile money early on, because this game gets difficult fast. To this day, I've never been able to finish the game. I've gotten only about halfway through during this playthrough attempt, but the traffic just gets insane, with more vehicles in each lane, cars changing lanes frequently, and the drivers just driving more aggressively. Even so, I still have a ton of fun playing. Hitting opposing racers or kicking them into vehicles is just so much fun. The rocking music helps lend to a fantastic atmosphere, and if you don't like a music track for that stage, you can just go into the CD player and change it for that race. I wish more racing games did stuff like that. The graphics are fairly well done as well. Your blader changes outfits every race, and although it's a simple color swap, it's still a nice, welcome feature. There's a decent variety of vehicles to be seen on the highways, and each stage does look slightly different. However, just like the Road Rash games, all of the stages have an almost barren feel to them, with the view consisting mostly of grass, sand, or dirt. There are objects that you can smack into, but they don't have a big abundance of them, but I get it. It's a technological limitation of the time. I'm on the fence of whether I prefer Road Rash 3 or Skitchin, but I still love Skitchin. Even though I feel like I'm terrible at it, I still have a really fun time. Avoiding traffic, smacking other racers in the face with a pipe, watching opposing bladers become road pizza. There's just so much fun to be had in Skitchin. I understand that it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, as it's pretty challenging and the racing style isn't for everyone, but I don't care, it's a fun game. It's really a shame that this didn't become a major franchise like Road Rash did. If you enjoyed the Road Rash series, there's no reason not to give this one a shot. Final score, 6 out of 7. This is Reaper. Happy fragging.